Welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 6, verses 10 to 13 this morning. Let's read it out. Now the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Go, tell Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, to let the sons of Israel go out of his land. But Moses spoke before the Lord, saying, Behold, the sons of Israel have not listened to me. How then will Pharaoh listen to me? For I am unskilled in speech. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron and gave them a charge to the sons of Israel and to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring the sons of Israel out of the land of Egypt. So God, again, tells Moses, okay, we're going to proceed with the plan now. And Moses, again, comes back to God and says, they won't. They are not listening to me. It's this speech thing again. I told you I'm not really a good public speaker, so I can't really do this. Like, weren't you listening before Moses when God said, who made man's mouth? But he brings up this old argument again and again. You know, the, the, the reason we're having problems here is, is because you, God, you're missing this. But, but I've got to figure it out for you. It's my speech problem. Take that into account. Find someone else. So then God just brushes that argument aside. He doesn't even respond to it. He's already addressed it very thoroughly. And he just brushes it aside and he says, okay, look, I'm charging you guys. This is, this is, your, this is your mission now. I'm charging you with this. You have to go and deliver the people of Israel. You need to go and speak to Pharaoh. It's settled. Proceed with the deliverance mission and bring my people out. So right here, we kind of bring to the conclu conclusion this first segment of the book of Exodus. God's plan, his mission, his order to them. His order stands. This is what we're going to do. But the situation is, is kind of a standoff so far. And, and it even looks like maybe, you know, Pharaoh holds all the cards. God has set himself to act and act he will. So this is just the calm before the storm. And the storm is coming. But the obstinacy of Pharaoh and the low moral... Uh, attitude of God's people. Those things are pretty evident here at this spot. This is kind of a kind of a downer spot in the narrative. Unless further divine intervention comes at this point, these Hebrews are going to die in Egyptian bondage. So we're finishing this segment now of the book of Exodus and come back tomorrow and see what we have next.